perhaps we might, this might not even be the end for quote unquote general four. Next election will come, another dissenting voice will come. Uh, they'll also go through the same process. Parliament, tribunal, home. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it's, it's, it's something that we've seen. There were loopholes in uh, the setting up of the commission. Yeah. Maybe Wakili will shed more light on, uh, on that in terms of having a vice chair, how a vice chair is appointed, how, mm. what, what constitutes uh, a commission, what exactly is their role, because we saw that some of them were, were given welfare duties uh, to conduct on the day of election. Yes. And we thought maybe, I mean, we are paying too much for someone to be given protocol and welfare uh, duties on a very critical day when we expect that all of them are working together. But then we see them, uh, um, I mean, announcing elections uh, at BOMAS, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, announcing results at BOMAS. And then uh, it comes to a point where there is a division. Um, that should be taken seriously. We, we should know exactly what happened. They should come clear on really what happened. Mm. I would really be against them resigning and running away from this process, but at least they should present themselves and be bold enough. One thing we were really mad about with uh, Rosalind was because she ran away and did not really give, tell mm. us what mm. happened. And that has maybe cost us today. I wish she still stayed behind. Stay, she still stayed here, resigned and stayed here yeah. and ensured that uh, one or two things are, are, are put in order so that uh, the country can move forward. Mm. That's a very huge responsibility and a huge task and a huge, uh, I mean, uh, a way of just giving yourself to a country to serve. Mm. But then again, how are we going to transform this country if we don't put ourselves at the front? When you decide to apply for a commission, a job in Kenya, then you have to be ready for all the, the perks that might come with it. Mm. It was not wrong for them to do what they did. I think they did what they thought was right in their own, uh, in their mandate as commissioners. Mm -hmm. It is important that as Kenyans we get to know what exactly took place, what exactly happened. Because this is not the last time we are going to have elections. Yeah. We are going to have elections again and again. And when we look at uh, the opposition leader and the president, uh, they, they need to look beyond that. I urge them to look at the high cost of living that is biting Kenyans. Mm -hmm. When we look at uh, the food insecurity in the country, those are issues that are quite important at this time. Budgets and sittings in parliament should be about that. Uh, protests and uh, picketing and mm -hmm. demonstrations should be about that. Farmers are the ones who should be protesting because their food is, get, is, is rotting in the farms. Mm -hmm. I mean, Kenyans should be up in arms saying that, I mean, we need the cost of living to go down. Down. We want uh, the Hustler Fund to come from 8% to 2%. I mean, that is a conversation that we need to talk about today. Not the Cherera 4, they made a decision. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they did what they had to do, let the legal process take shape. But then again, let us look at other things, bigger things. Yeah.